guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Amy, I'm married to Jeffrey, I have three kids. Malia's 15, she's my oldest. Samuel is 11, he's my middle child. And then Scarlett is five, she's my youngest. And this is everything that's in their Easter basket. Oh, I'm slightly out of breath. <laughs> I just, I'm old and I just carried all this stuff downstairs and I was like trying to do it fast because quiet because I didn't want to wake anybody up. Um, they're all upstairs asleep. It's late at night, I'm downstairs in the basement hiding out. This is my go-to hiding place when I need to film something or do anything really. It has been a long day. But anyway, I wanted to make this video for you guys because I love watching these kind of videos. I watch them all the time. It gives me ideas for gifts and things. Um, Cause sometimes, you know, you just, it's like your brain runs dry and you're like, I can't think of anything. So I watch videos to get ideas and stuff. And so maybe there's some ideas here that'll help you guys. Um, my Easter baskets are Mm -hmm. See, this is the size of my Easter baskets. They're all the same. They're different colors, but they're all the exact same basket. Um, I literally just fill the basket. I don't put a lot of extra out or anything like that. So how we do Easter is um, Sunday, we're Christian. So on Sundays, our Easter Sunday, it is, you know, church and family. Um, Jesus is the reason for the season, you know. And um, then the Easter bunny comes a couple days before Easter, usually on Good Friday, but kind of depends on what's going on when the Easter bunny shows up. And um, anyway, so he comes and he leaves them all a basket and then he puts, he poops, <laughs> he poops jelly beans all over the floor and then he leaves eggs for them to hunt outside. So that's how I've done it for forever. And that's how I plan to continue doing it until you know, my youngest is too old for that, but I'll still give him a basket. But I don't go overboard with my baskets. I don't put anything ridiculously expensive, and I just put enough. You know what I mean? And if you want to know what my budget is, I don't have one. I don't have a budget for any holidays or birthdays or anything. I just buy what I think they like, will like, and I will just try to make it look even. You know, because I don't keep up with the numbers. That's, like, too much for me. I can't do it. So I'm just going to start with the one that's closest to me, and that is one I picked up first, Scarlet's. I'm gonna show you everything that's in there. Um, so, let me dig down to the candy. So the candy, I didn't go overboard with candy this year because they got some for Easter for their grandparents. They get like a little bucket every year with some stuff in it for Easter. They got stuff for Valentine's. Like we just have an overload of candy. So we're stocked on candy, but I got them a little bit. Bubble tape, that's a classic. Of course, no Easter basket is complete without a chocolate hollow bunny. And I just get these little baby binks and that's plenty, and in my opinion, these are the best chocolate hollow bunnies. And I got her this push pop. It's got this little, um, can you see it? Is it blurry? Like little egg girl on top. <laughs> and then um, I got her a Kinder egg because she loves those. And then the last thing I got was just some little gold eggs that I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna leave them in this or if I'm gonna open this and put them down. Oh, I dropped them. Put them down in the bottom of her basket. I'm not sure yet. I haven't made up my mind. I mean, I don't know if that's what the Easter Bunny's going to do yet. Me and him, we got to talk about that. Okay, so I got her this cute little Barbie hat. Isn't that the cutest? Um, and it, it may be a little big for her head, but it's adjustable. And I got it on clearance. Uh, where's it? On top. Uh, at Walmart for $5. Um, it was originally $7.98. But anyway, I thought it was really cute. Now, will she actually wear this? I don't know, but... She might, and summer's coming. Well, spring's here, and summer's coming, and we live in Tennessee where it's hot. And so, she might use this to cover her face and eyes, you know, when she's outside. I don't know. She may not, but I think she'll like it anyway when she sees it. Really excited about these because um, ever since her brother got some Crocs, he bought some Crocs with his own money. I'm itching. Like, I'm itching here, and I'm itching here, and I'm itching here. I can see it. It's like I'm red. It's like I'm... I'm getting a rush. Anyway, she's wanted her own Crocs. I found these on Amazon. I forget how much I paid for them, but they were on sale. Anytime I buy anything at Amazon, I wait till it goes on sale. Um, so I did not pull, pay, pull. I didn't pay full price for these, but they're super cute. The little fur and the little unicorn horn, and she is going to freak out. She loves shoes anyway, so yeah, she's gonna go crazy. So I got her this little Play-Doh thing off of Amazon. It's like a little bunny rabbit and like little cutouts and some Play-Doh in it. So I got her this uh, Barbie bath bomb. It's supposed to have some little surprise inside. I think we had one of these before and like the surprise was like a little 
um, bracelet or something, it seems like, in a little clear ball inside. I can't remember exactly, but I think that's what it was. I got that off Amazon too. And I got this off Amazon and it's something that her brother and sister already have and she does not have one. So I got her a piggy bank, just a classic piggy bank. I didn't get a plastic one, I got a ceramic one. But I don't think she'll break it. I think we're going to put it up on her dresser and I think she'll leave it alone. And she's got some, like, Christmas birthday money that I've been hoarding away that she doesn't know she has. So she can stick it in there and save up and, you know, maybe be rich one day. Who knows? So the last two things in her basket, I got this for a dollar at the um, Dollar General. It's 250 stickers. Just a little sticker book. Got cute little Easter stickers in it. Um, what kid doesn't love stickers, right? I know mine does. And I got this off Amazon. One thing I don't like about, this is how it came. But that's just how it is when you order books by mail sometimes. But it's color by number, the Bible. Of course, it just seems fitting since it's Easter. And it's, you know, obviously, I think you get the idea what color by number is. I'm assuming that, is that Jesus? Yahweh. Yep, that's Jesus. So, you know, it'd be a good, good thing for her to practice since she's only five. Practice reading a little bit. Um, she knows all of her numbers, but, you know, maybe she can recognize purple and brown, like the color words, you know, we're fixing up to start doing those sight words. Okay. So that's everything in her basket. So let me grab another one. Okay. So I'm going to do my oldest daughter's next. Um, she's 15. If it seems like I'm rushing, it's because I hear somebody walking around up there. I've heard the door open twice. Somebody, I don't know who it is, but I'm sure it's a kid. Somebody's going to walk in on me. I can feel it. So I'm trying to like hurry up. But um, I'm gonna do my 15 year old daughter's next. She's not into the typical things that a 15 year old is into as far as like, she's not into makeup, boys. She's not into Taylor Swift. My daughter loves to read and watch politics. <laughs> you know, she, it is what it is, but she's very smart, very brainy. And um, so this basket is tailored just for her. So her candy, let me pull it up here. I got her these little Ghirardelli caramel milk chocolate bunnies. I don't know. There's probably only like two in here or something, but she loves these things. They were only like a dollar something at Walmart, so I grabbed some of those. I also got her a chocolate hollow bunny. I got her some little gold Easter eggs. I got her a Kinder egg. I bought a pack of these. Uh, it was like three in a pack, so I just broke them up and put them in their baskets from Walmart. And I got this cute little thing of Nutella, which came from Walmart too. She loves Nutella, and this is just I got one of these. She got one of these in her stocking at Christmas too. And anyway, really cute. So the next thing I got her was these earrings. They came off Amazon. They weren't very much. I don't know. Hold on. They're not really going to shh. I can't. It's blurry. It's blurry. Can y'all see? Y'all can't really see. Anyway, they're like a rose gold color. They weren't very much on Amazon. There's these little rose gold studs. But super cute. I mean like. I think I paid like was it seven or eight bucks or something. I don't remember, but super cute. Okay, so on Amazon also, I got her this. It's called One Line a Day, but it's a five-year, it says five-year memory book, five-year journal. I'm sure y'all probably know what that is. You pick a day, March 19th. You start 2024. You write down a little something for that day. Then 2025, 2026, 2027, you know, so on. And you can look back every year and see what you wrote on that day. She likes to journal and stuff, so I'm sure she's going to, I'm still... Y'all, I need some Benadryl. Anyway, I'm pretty sure she's going to love this. And she's going to use it. And I thought it'd be really cool because if she keeps it up for five years, fifth, between 15 and 20, like, there's lots of things that's going to happen between the age of 15 and 20. So, um, yeah, I just think it'd be really cool for her to look back on, like, when she's 20, what she was thinking and doing when she was 15, you know? Okay, so this is, I think, like a middle grade book. Do y'all remember where the red fern grows? I remember watching this movie in school. I'm pretty sure this was a movie. Um, and I, I'm reading this book in school. It looks like a maybe a middle grade. Maybe it's a young adult, but I think it's a middle grade book. A must read for kids ages 9 to 14. So, you know, she's a little more advanced than this. But it's a classic, and I know she's never read it. And I, I think she'll like it. I could be wrong, but I really think that she will. So, we're going to give that a try. Okay, so I got her these shoes, which are kind of a rosy gold color. I still got the, I just took them out of the box um, and stuck, stuck them in her basket. And I'm trying my darndest to remember where they came from, but I can't remember. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen here, but I don't remember where they came from. Um, I'm 
brain fart? I don't remember, but they're super cute. And I know she's gonna love them. If it seems like my son and my daughter, other daughter got more than this daughter, I think Samuel's got, I think they both have one more thing than she did, but her shoes cost a little bit more. So anyway, this book is called Myrtle and it's uh, 100 Elementary to Impossible Mysteries to Solve Using Logic, Skill, and the Power of Deduction. Right up Malia's alley. So it's got like, I don't know, I've, I've not really looked through it, but it's got murder mysteries that you have to figure out some. It's some kind of like puzzle book, you know? And I think she's going to love this. The next thing. I caught her doing a word search here a while back and she seemed to be really into it. So I just got her an Easter word search. Seems like something else that she would really like to do. Keep her busy on days that she's bored. Okay, now for my son's basket. Oh, let me do his candy first. Same chocolate little hollow bunny. Same eggs. I also got him bubble tape. And I got him the Kinder Egg. So that is his... Wait. I was going to say, I'm missing one because I got them... Yeah. So, um, he got a little push pop and it's got the little, um, duck coming out of the egg on the top. I thought that was cute. I got them all five little, like, candy things a piece. Okay, so I got this off Amazon. It's Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. It's magnetic. It's black. And I think it comes with, like, a little magnet that the putty is attracted to the magnet he's gonna think this is the most awesome thing ever and probably use it for about two days and then never pull it back out again <laughs> so my son for some reason is all into drinks not alcoholic drinks but all the sporty drinks or flavors for the water and all that and water bottles that's like all the rage apparently that's what he's into so I just got him one of these body armor drinks and I got him the cherry lime flavor I mean, what, two bucks at Walmart, and he's going to be thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Next thing I got him, I thought this was so cool. This came off of Amazon. It's a wooden, I don't know how you can see it, because it's still, I don't really want to take it out of the bag. It's a wooden slingshot, like a real slingshot, with a bunch of little, like, wooden, they may be plastic, um, but the slingshot is wooden, little pellet things. And I am not concerned one bit about him shooting this in the house because all I have to do is say, don't do that, and he won't. I'm not concerned about him shooting little critters outside or his sisters when he's outside because he's just not that kind of kid. Although I will give him a little talk beforehand how we don't shoot living things <laughs> with this um, or the windows of the house, and we don't shoot it when our sisters are outside. Um, like I said, I'm not worried about it because he wouldn't do that kind of thing, but I'm going to warn him anyway. So if you do get your kid a slingshot, giving them that little speech beforehand. Okay, so the next thing I got him, again, the water bottle craze. He's got one of those circle water bottles that he got, did he get it for Christmas? Or his birthday, I think he got it for Christmas. And he uses up these little refill things, so I got him um, three of them. I forget what, where's the coconut, pineapple, um, fruit punch, an island punch, which I think he said the fruit punch was not that good. Or he didn't like it anyway. I don't know. But I got him three of those refills for his circle water bottle. Okay, so I don't know if he'll like this or not, but I think it's kind of cool. I got it off of Amazon. Um, it's this invisible ink pen. And I think you write with it, and then it's got like a little light on it or something that you can shine and see what you wrote. Like I said, I'm not really sure... This, again, might be one of those gimmick things where he really likes it for, like, a day. And then his little sister ends up with it. You know what I mean? So, I also got him a bath bomb. He's so hard to buy for because he just turned 11. And he acts like he really likes toys. And by toys, I mean, like, um, remote control cars and Legos and things like that. Like, he wants all the things. And he's got things that he never plays with. He, he just doesn't play with toys anymore. He'd rather be playing basketball, riding his four-wheeler um playing Fortnite, you know he's outside all the time but he's not playing with toys outside he's playing with a dog or he's like i said playing basketball or something so he's just so hard to buy for because he wants all the stuff but it, you know i don't want to spend all that money on something that, like i said he's gonna play with one time and never pick back up again but anyway um he uh also got a bath bomb hot wheels it's got a hot wheel surprise inside 
he actually doesn't really take baths anymore. He takes showers all the time. But I think once he sees that he has a cool bath bomb, because it's a surprise inside that he'll take a bath and use it, you know? And even if he doesn't, again, his little sister will. Okay, so two more things for his basket. He is not the reader. He can read, he just doesn't wanna read. But um, I try to encourage it as much as I possibly can. So I got him this Would You Rather book, which is more like a game, but there is reading involved, you see. <laughs> um, he has to read the questions and it's like, you know, would you rather eat, this is the Easter edition. Would you rather eat 10 hot cross buns or 20 chocolate eggs? Like stuff like that. Um, would you rather have a stomach ache during Easter dinner or a toothache? Neither. Like, I guess a stomach ache because that might pass quicker. I don't know. <laughs> what would you rather have? Okay, so this may seem like it's too young for an 11 year old. I don't know, but he said something recently about wanting bubbles to play with outside with Scarlet. And, um, I just saw this. It wasn't very expensive. I can't remember how much it was. Got it off Amazon. It's an automatic cycle bubble gum. Bubble gum? No. Bubble gun. <laughs> it's not bubble gum. This is a giant box of bubble gum. No, not really. It's a bubble gun. And um, what color did I get? There's blue on the back and there's orange on the front. I think I got the orange one. I don't even remember now. But um, it just looks sort of kind of Nerf gunny-ish and it shoots out a whole bunch of bubbles at one time. And I think he'll like playing with this with Scarlet outside because they do do bubbles every year and I always get somebody bubbles for Easter. And I don't know why I didn't get Scarlet bubbles. But anyway, um, again, maybe just a gimmick thing for him at his age. He may literally play with it the day he gets it outside with Scarlet and never pick it up again. But again, if he doesn't, his little sister will play with it all the time. So it's a win-win. She loves bubbles. All right, guys, so that's everything that's in my kids' Easter baskets. Uh, maybe it gave you an idea. Maybe it's too late in the game. I don't know. I kind of waited a little long to do this video. But anyway, I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate you watching. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. I will reply to your comment. I mean, as long as it's nice. <laughs> you know, Leave a nice comment, and I'll reply. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.